All right. So, all of my antenna supplies has arrived and I am ready to get on HF. The biggest problem I face is I am in a second floor apartment with a balcony. So what I have here is, I purchased these just in case I needed them. Uh, I think it's ceramic insulators, but it looks like the InFed dipole antenna I ordered already has an insulator on it. So we're just going to leave that there. I also have some support, polyester support rope and 50 feet of RG8X uh, coax cable. So what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to discreetly <clears throat> put this infed antenna up from my balcony to a tree. My apartment doesn't say they don't allow outside antennas, but then again, this is a bit much. So uh, we're going to see how this goes, and uh, I'm going to have you guys there with me through it. So these are the supplies I'm going to use, and I'm going to show you kind of the situation. Can you here and if any of you are more experienced people have a better idea please let me know so <clears throat> the plan is to tie one end of the antenna over here in this tree which I'm going to have to climb and it's not going to be very slope because I just don't have the height for it and I'm just going to uh, which is hopefully 60 feet away at least and I'm going to tie it probably to my J-pole antenna or my two meter half wave antenna that I have here. Um, so ideally it should be one long wire in the air that goes from this tree over to the pole and hopefully it won't look too crazy. So I'm just gonna have to do this at a time where you know people aren't gonna call. So if I can go get up in the tree and get the wire strung up, or the antenna strung up into my balcony, then I'll be in the clear. The problem is, once I'm out there, I'm around a lot of people, they're gonna see me climbing the tree, and while putting up antenna is not necessarily wrong or illegal, uh, it's 2019 and people aren't too familiar with ham radio operators or you know large HF antennas, so, especially with this apartment complex, so, I'm gonna get a lot of strange looks probably, and if we can make it to that part, I think it'll be fine. The issue is gonna be <clears throat> people thinking I'm a crackhead climbing the tree and trying to talk to aliens or something crazy. So hopefully, you know, as I don't bring too much attention to myself to where somebody says something to um, the landlords. But uh, I think as, as long as there's enough room there, everything should be fine. And um, I've never, climbed a tree like that so that'll be interesting as well but the way I look at it is you know I have uh, crackhead neighbors across the street who haul trash into the parking lot and you know blows around everywhere and they sort through it I, I don't know if they sell it point is if, if these guys can like if they, they haul trash around and let it litter the neighborhood I think I should be fine putting up a little wire antenna uh, the big thing is just getting it out there first because I don't want a lot of attention I just want it to go up and then go unnoticed which most likely that's what will happen. So I guess we need to go ahead and start scouting the area and seeing how far the antenna is going to actually need to be uh, from the tree. And uh, I guess we'll go ahead and get to it. So I've unraveled it just to kind of get an idea. And uh, I've got it trapped on the J pole here. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop it off the edge and uh, see how far it goes. All right, so I think this is gonna work. Uh, we may have to get into the trees just a little bit, uh, well, quite a bit actually, but it seems like HF frequencies don't matter that much. But I've already went ahead and affixed my, uh, my box to the two meter antenna here around one of the metal bands. This is non-inducting, so I hope that, uh, or conductive, so I hope that um, the metal bands here won't affect anything or the antenna being there. But is this going to be strung up in the air kind of like that? And I'm going to try to get it as high up and on the far end of that tree as possible so it's not sloping. Uh, because the more slope, uh, the more visible it's going to be. So let's go ahead and uh, attach another end to this uh, short rope. And uh, kind of get down there and see 
how this is going to work. Alright, so it was a little harder than I thought, but we did get it up. This is not a permanent solution because you can see my antenna is bending from the, uh, the pull. But we've attached our 239 connector here. So uh, hopefully this box is waterproof, I would think so. And so you can see our antenna line goes down into the tree. <clears throat> and into the window. All right, now that all our hard work is done, let's see if it paid off. So, one thing is it did run into some branches, so I'm not sure how, up, up, not sure how it's going to attenuate or resonate. Um, hopefully, it's enough for a built in tuner to uh, tune to. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, so I've just made my first HF contact with a Whiskey 9 India Mike Sierra, which is a special event station running the, I guess, Indianapolis uh, 500. So that was really exciting. Um, and I look forward to a lot more stuff with this radio. Anyways, thanks you guys for uh, kind of going through me with this. I'll keep you updated on the antenna. Uh, hopefully nothing happens and all is well.